Are you like me? Do you have the ability to build an arcade machine of your own but just don't have the time and knowledge? Or maybe you don't have the ability to build one at all? Or are the ones you see online for sale that someone else has built just too expensive? Then stay tuned and look no further. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm sure most of you, like me, live in an area on lockdown and practicing isolation due to coronavirus. So I hope you're coping okay and I hope your families are safe and well. Now if you're looking for something to keep you entertained whilst you're waiting to be released back into the wild, I have a pretty sweet two-player joystick arcade games console to show you. It has 1500 old school retro arcade classic video games inside ready to play. It's called Pandora's Box 9. It is not the latest version as the latest versions also have 3D arcade games included but if you're happy with the old 2D classics this will do perfectly for you. If you're here looking just for the complete games list you may want to skip to the end where I'll show the full games list on this model but if you want to see more of this product don't go anywhere. Okay, like me, you may want to consider finding an outlet in your own country before purchasing one of these because if you go for the discounted version direct from China, you're going to be in for a long wait and who knows, isolation may be over by then. Let's hope right guys. The Pandora's Box 9 complete with 1500 games built in ready to go but to be honest, there is a vast number of duplicates and some hacked and bootleg versions of games like Street Fighter where anything seems possible. There is a couple of versions of the Simpsons arcade game for example, one that is the original arcade version where the player 1 joystick can only select Marge and player 2 can only select Homer as the authentic arcade game had 4 players joysticks each allocated to a player meaning Bart or Lisa can never be chosen with just 2 joysticks. The other version of the Simpsons on this is almost the same but like the version that was temporary temporarily released for the PS3 and Xbox where both player 1 and 2 joysticks can select a player of choice and a few other mild variations but they're hard to notice when you're having fun button bashing the hell out of enemies. In this case I can understand it warranting two versions. But before I talk too much about the games on this thing I want to talk a little more about the console itself and then we can take a look at the games before I leave you with the complete games list. The console seems simplistic but stylish in looks with audio jack sockets, multiple connections for USB, HDMI and VGA sockets. There is an independent volume button and speaker so the console itself can play the audio if you're using a PC monitor to play with no speakers. You will still get the sound if the setting is turned on for speakers. The independent speakers can be turned off so that you can solely use your TV or your own speakers for audio. If like me you have an independent capture card you can run your HDMI lead from the console through your capture card and up into your TV to capture audio whilst recording your gameplay. Somehow you can use extra controllers with this device I imagine so that you can play 4 players on the games with this option. I tried it out with one of my PlayStation arcade joysticks but I couldn't seem to get it to register as a controller and couldn't seem to find a setting to add a new controller. There isn't much in the settings so I'm not sure how I could have missed it. The joystick and buttons have the classic arcade look and feel about them. I'm sure there is a bunch of real spoiled fussy people out there that will find ways to pick holes in this and say they are cheap quality etc and I'm sure they are but 
everything can easily be replaced with another brand and quality if you wish but someone who is not that fussy and generally looks after my stuff I'm confident I won't be breaking any buttons or joysticks anytime soon oh yeah and by the way this does come with spare parts too you can go into the settings and set up how you would like your buttons laid out as default and change it for individual games some games you can select the difficulty and you can build a list of your favorite games so they are always at the start because there is no easy way to find games on this other than scrolling through one downside with this version of Pandora's box there is no way to save your top scores that I feel could have been such an easy option to implement but it's not there on this version so turn the lights off and this thing will light up to give you a mild atmosphere of the arcades we all loved playing these games in when we grew up in the 80s and 90s okay let's move on to the games 1500 of them to go through so in just a moment we will run through every game but first I want to mention a few things about some of my favorites on this version of Pandora's box First of all there is no original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. I know, how did this get missed right? However, the sequel Turtles in Time is present. Although a great game to have, I actually already have this on my Sega Mega Drive and the enhanced remake version for the PS3. So I really was hoping for the original Turtles arcade game as it was my favourite and extremely nostalgic for me to play. But there is so many other games here from my childhood, I really couldn't ask for any more versions of Street Fighter. No, I really couldn't. So many versions of Street Fighter. One other letdown with this selection of games was only one version of Mortal Kombat that seems to be the only game on this thing to lag. An endless list of King of the Fighters, Fatal Fury, Samurai Showdowns, Pit Fighter and all the classic fighting beat em up games we all love. More fighting games with a large selection of beat em all up games from Asterix to Simpsons and Turtles to Double Dragon, Knights of the Round and Predator vs Alien. Next up is platform games, enough running, jumping, shooting and bopping enemies to keep most of us happy for a long time. Then we have our scrolling shooters that once again you surely won't be disappointed with the variety you get on this version of Pandora's box. If you're a sports gaming fan then you're also in for a treat with a bunch of classic arcade sports games. To be honest a variety of games dating back to the 70s of every genre including puzzle and first person shooters. So to sum up this device is affordable if you know where to look, fairly well made, looks the part, feels the part and way more positive things to say than negative so all round a good purchase for me I now don't need to worry about getting out purchasing some MDF screws and fixings worrying about sourcing every little possible part I would need to get my home arcade up and running with everything working illuminated painted and decorated this device just ticked home arcade off my list I'm sure you and your family and friends will love sitting down with this console to play some old school arcade classics. It's time for me to go but as promised I will now leave you with the full list of games for those of you looking for anything in particular. Thanks for watching guys stay safe and healthy and look after those elders who have paved the way for us all to have what we have today. Until next time, happy retro gaming.